For today's lesson, we will be discussing about the behavior of exponential functions. So we will be describing the graphs of the exponential functions. In describing the graphs of exponential functions, you have to take note of two concepts. First is translation. Translation refers to a horizontal or vertical shift of the graph without changing its shape. When you say translation, we are referring to the movement or shifting of the graph, either horizontal shifting. When we say horizontal shifting, that means uh, the graph moves to the left or to the right. And when we say vertical shifting, that means it moves upward or downward. So when the graph shifts horizontally or vertically, it will just move, but it will still maintain its original shape. So that is what we call as translation. We also have what we call as reflection. It refers to a transformation that produces a new figure, which is a mirror image of the original figure. So for reflection, you have to create another figure, but this is just the mirror image of the original one. So again, that is what we call as reflection. Now take note that exponential function follows this given form, f of x equals b raised to x minus h plus k, where h and k can be uh, real numbers or any real numbers. Now, h and k here, this will help us to determine the behavior of our graph. So this will help us to identify the shifting of the given function. Now let's take a look at this three sets of functions. So we have here f of x equals 2 raised to x plus 1, f of x equals 2 raised to x, f of x equals 2 raised to x minus 1. So all of them follows the form f of x equals 2 raised to x minus h. Now we don't have the value of k here, so that means k in this set of functions is equal to 0. Now let's identify first what are the values of h for each function. So again, take note, this is the formula or this is the form that we are following. So therefore, for the first one, the value of h here is negative 1. Because if we substitute negative 1 here, x minus negative 1, so that will give us x plus 1, which is the exponent of our first function. Now the second one, h here is 0. And on the third one, h is equal to positive 1. Now, let's see what will happen to the graph as the value of h changes. So, let's have first f of x equals 2 raised to x. So, this is the graph of f of x equals 2 raised to x. So, let's say we will set h equal to 1. So, the graph of that will be this one. So, observing the graph of the two functions, so, as you can see, after setting h equal to 1, our graph moves 1 unit to the right. So, from this point, which is from 2 raised to x, going to another point, which is from 2 raised to x minus 1, you will see that the distance is 1 unit. So, as you get points from both functions, you will see that they are one unit away from one another. So again, if we set h equal to 1, you will see that from 2 raised to x, it will move one unit to the right. Now, how about if we have 2 raised to x plus 1 or h is negative 1? So this is now the graph of the said function. As you can see, based from the graph of 2 raised to x, the graph now of 2 raised to x plus 1 moves to the left again by 1 unit. So if we will again get points here, also this one, you will see this is 1 unit away from one another, also 1 unit away from one another, and also this one right here. So that means if h is equal to negative 1, our graph shifts to the left by one unit as well. So from here, you will see that as the value of h changes, our graph shifts to the left or to the right. So it depends now on the value of h. If h is 1 or positive, our graph from 2 raised to x, it shifts to the right by one unit. And if h is negative 1, from 2 raised to x again, our graph will shift one unit to the left. So the value of h now gives us or tells us the shifting of our graph either to left or to the right. 
from that, we can say that if h increases, the graph shifts h units to the right. And if h decreases, the graph shifts h units to the left. So what happens here is we now have what we call as horizontal shifting or horizontal translation. Now this will happen if we have a value of h. Now the value of h determines what will be the shifting of our graph horizontally. So it's either it moves to the left or to the right. And by how many units will it shift from the reference function that we have. Okay, so just take note if h increases, the graph will shift h units to the right. h decreases, the graph will shift h units to the left. Let's have another set of functions here. This time, they follow the form f of x equals 2 raised to x plus k. So we don't have a value of h here, but what we have is the value of k. So let's identify now the values of k for each function. So for the first one, we have k is equal to 1. k here is equal to 0. And then k here is equal to negative 1. Now we have different values for k. And let's see how will it affect the graph of our function. So first is, it's again half here, f of x equals 2 raised to x. So again, this is the graph of our function. So in this case, k is equal to 0. Now if we will set k equal to 1, so this will now be the graph of our function. Notice that from 2 raised to x, the graph of 2 raised to x plus 1 shifts 1 unit upward. So if you will get points from the original function or reference function 2 raised to x and also from 2 raised to x plus 1 you will notice that again the the graph shifts one unit upward so this one as well one unit and also other points in our graph so this is just one unit they are just one unit away from one another so if we set k equal to 1, that means our graph will shift 1 unit upward from the reference function which is 2 raised to x. Now how about if k is equal to negative 1? So if k is equal to negative 1, so this is what will happen to our graph. Notice that from 2 raised to x, what happens is that the graph of 2 raised to x minus 1 shifts downward by 1 unit as well. So you can get again points from the two functions so this one is one unit away also this point here one unit away and also this one right here still it's one unit away from one another so from here if k is equal to negative one we can say that the graph will shift downward by one unit now since the values of k are different we have one and negative one you will see now that this affects the shifting of our graph as well, but this time, the shifting now is vertical. So it, the graph either moves upward or downward based on the values of k that we have. So from there, we can say that if k increases, the graph shifts k units upwards. If k decreases, the graph shifts k units downwards. So again, what we have here now is a vertical shifting of our graph or vertical translation. When we say vertical shifting or vertical translation, we are referring to the upward or downward movement of our graph. So this will only happen if, of course, we have the value of k. So the value of k will determine what will be the movement or the shifting of our graph and by how many units will it shift. So if k increases, the graph will shift k units upward. If k decreases, the graph shifts k units downward. Again, this is what we call as vertical shifting or vertical translation. Another one is the graph y equals b raised to negative x is a reflection of y equals b raised to x along the y-axis. Now, if we are talking about reflections, all we have to do is just to look at the exponents of our function. So for one function to be a reflection of the other, they should have the same base, same exponent, but the only difference is the sign of the variable. So one should be negative and then the other one should be positive. So if that's the case, then they are a reflection of one another. And the reflection will only happen in along the y-axis.
So for example, we have 2 raised to x and f of x equals 2 raised to negative x. As you can see, they have the same base, the same exponent, but the other one is a negative. So if we will see the graph of the first one, f of x equals 2 raised to x. So this is the graph. Now if we will graph here the function f of x equals 2 raised to negative x, so this is now the graph. So as you can see, they are just... Um, the same, but the other one is just the mirror image of the original one. Again, this will happen if the functions are the same, same base, same exponents, but the variables just have different signs. Now, let's try to describe the graph of the following functions using translation or reflection. So, first thing that you have to do is you have to identify the values of h and k. So in this case, the value of h is negative 2. Again, take note that the form of the equation of exponential function is b raised to x minus h plus k. So h here is negative 2 and k is 0 since we don't have any constant here. Now, after you identify the values of h and k, you also have to identify what will be the reference function. What is the reference function? Because we cannot just uh, simply say that the graph shifts to the left by two units. So, we have to identify a reference function wherein this is uh, where we compare the given function to us. Now, the reference function follows the form f of x equals b raised to x. So you just have to identify this in the given function and that will be the reference function that we have to use. Meaning, we are comparing this given function to b raised to x. So in this case, our reference function f of x equals, then again, just have to get b raised to x or in this case, 4 raised to x. So again, here we are now comparing f of x equals 4 raised to x plus 2 to the function f of x equals 4 raised to x. Now after you identify all the informations that we need, we can now write the statement. So we can say that the graph, the graph of, then you mention the function, f of x equals 4 raised to x plus 2 shifts the graph Of, and then you write here the reference function. So in this case, f of x equals 4 raised to x. And then you now write your conclusion. So since h is negative 2, that means we are having here horizontal translation or horizontal shifting. And k is 0, so that means uh, there's no vertical shifting that happened. So since h is equal to negative 2, that means the graph shifts 2 units to the left. So what I will put here is that um, shifts the graph of f of x equals 4 raised to x 2 units 2 units to the left and then that's it that is now the description of the behavior of the graph of our function another example let's have f of x equals 3 raised to x minus 5 again let's identify the value of h and also the value of k in this case h is equal to 0 since, as you can see, there's no constant being added or subtracted to our variable x. And then k here is negative 5. After that, we have to identify the reference function. Again, that is in the form of b raised to x. So, therefore, we have f of x equals 3 raised to x as our reference function. So, that means we are comparing now this given function to us, f of x equals 3 raised to x minus 5 to f of x equals 3 raised to x. Now, since the value of h is 0, so there is no horizontal translation. And since the value of k is negative 5, that means what is present now is vertical translation or vertical shifting. And since it's negative, that means it moves downward by 5 units. So let's write now the description. You just have to follow what we did on the previous example. So the graph of f of x equals 3 raised to x minus 5 shifts the graph off. Then let's write f of x equals 3 raised to x, our reference function. Shifts the graph of f of x equals 3 raised to x 5 units downward. 
And that's it. That will be our final answer. Let's have another example. So this time, let's have f of x equals 5 raised to x plus 2 plus 3. So again, let's identify the values of h and k. So h here is negative 2, k is positive 3. Then after that, let's identify the reference function. So in this case, our reference function is 5 raised to x. Again, it just follows the form b raised to x. So this one right here. Now, since we have two values here, h and k, that means uh, we have horizontal and vertical shifting. So let's write here the graph. The graph of f of x equals 5 raised to x plus 2 plus 3 shifts the graph off and then let's write the reference function f of x equals 5 raised to x now since you have two um you just have to choose which one to write first so let's just write each first two units since it's negative so two units to the left and for k, we have 3. So, and 3 units upward since it's positive. So, that will be now the behavior of the graph. And then let's have this example h of x equals 3 raised to negative x. So, this time what we will do is um, we will be considering the reflection. Now, as what we know with reflection, um, they just they should have the same base and also the same exponent but different signs. So, if the given function to us is h of x equals 3 raised to negative x, that means this is the reflection of the graph or of the function h of x equals 3 raised to x. So, they are reflection of one another. Now, to write this, all we have to do is the graph... of h of x equals 3 raised to negative x is a reflection of the graph of h of x equals 3 raised to x across the y-axis. So that is how you will write now the behavior of the graph if what we want is the reflection. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something about the behavior of exponential functions and see you next time.